What's up YouTube, Funny M Sickles back with another video. This video we're gonna do something a little bit, di little bit different. It's uh, 4.45 a.m. in the morning um, on Friday. We're getting ready to pack an order to go out to a fellow YouTuber out in the Midwest. Um, I'm not gonna say names. He's gonna do an unboxing video of these fish, so we'll let him do an unboxing video, keep you guys in suspense, but we're shipping out uh, Nice group of breeding, nice breeding group of fish. So come along as we pack them up and go to the airport. All right, so we're gonna get ready to pack up fish. What we're shipping out is this uh, this really nice group of Tineo Lithrinos Parapetralis. So we're gonna pack these guys up. We're gonna pack them up in two boxes. We're gonna do quarter box bags for the everybody else, but we're gonna do a nice half box bag for this guy here just to make sure nothing happens. So we're gonna get going and catch these guys and get them packed. All right, so we got our box prepped. We got our bags out. We're using quarter box bags, like I said, for the, <clears throat> the six inch fish or so. And then we'll use a, a half box bag for the big male. So let's get going as we get them packed up. We gotta get them packed up, get them to the airport by 7 a.m. So that way they can make an 8 a.m. flight on Southwest. So let's get with it. Alright, well you can't see what we're doing, sorry about that, a little further down, we got our pack cart, we're putting them in bag, quarter bags, like I said, and we're adding a uh, cat full of Amquil, cat full of uh, fish protector, and a couple drops of Mithlane Blue as well to the water to, uh, to help the fish calm down when we're shipping them, just our normal, uh, normal chemicals we add whenever we're doing our shipping routine. As you can see here, we got one ready. We're gonna air them up and keep working, keep going through this. I believe it's only eight fish to pack up, so it's not, uh, not 30 of them, so. Another video I did a while ago is um, I'll put a description up in the corner um, about how to ship fish that I did on another video when I shipped out some fry. This is just a little different where I'm shipping out you know, some five five inch plus fish. So we got to catch another one and keep moving. Alright, what we're doing right now is so we're just we're bagging them up singly um, in quarter box bags and then we're gonna go back and double and triple bag them but for now we're just gonna bag them put them in you know single bag for the moment to get them staged and keep catching and keep the process going along. 
We got three caught so far. We got four left. Normally what we do is we're for shipping fry. We ship them, we can pack them the night before. Not a big deal. But since we're packing up breeders, um, I generally, you know, we'll suck it up and get up early in the morning, if, you know, uh, depending on when the flights are, to, to pack the breeders up. Just to, just to give them less time in the bags, less stressful travel. So let's keep, keep moving on so we get this completed. Also what I do is my prep process is I will starve the fish for uh, a couple days before I pack them up. Like the last guys, last time the pair of trials ate was uh, was Wednesday, Wednesday night, or Tuesday night, sorry, Tuesday night. So they didn't eat Wednesday or yesterday at all, um, just to make sure that they're cleaned out somewhat for shipping and reduce the ammonia in the bag if there's not a lot of waste coming out of them because they're not... Uh, they haven't eaten in a couple days. Also, we do a water change the night before. Make sure the, the water is as clean as possible that we're using to pack them. I know some people stage water that they use for packing. We don't do that, but we make, you know, like I said, we do water change the night before anytime we ship fish out of the tanks and make sure that, uh, that we're using the cleanest water possible. Been doing the shipping for several, several years without any issues this way, so this is just my method. Everybody does it differently. So it's just this is just the way we do it here. So we got one left, then we'll finish triple bagging those bags and then we'll catch the mail. Alright, another, another thing we like to do is we like to make labels. We got our computer down here, our MacBook Pro um, hooked up. So we're going to make a couple labels for the bags. Just to, uh, to identify which ones are the males, which ones are the females. So we use Dinmo Label App. So we're going to go ahead and put the name in the label and get some printed out here. So we're printing out five female labels and uh, two male labels to pack these guys up. All right, so now the labels are printed. We're working on We're going to triple bag to finish uh, bagging these bags. So here's our uh, labels. You can see what we, it's probably backwards, but uh, what we have on them. The species name, the quantity, if we can sex it or not, male, female, and then just some contact information we have on our standard label that we print to go in all the bags. And then we're going to continue to uh, Get these guys triple bagged and then the one box and then we'll go back up the mail or the larger mail. There is two males and five females in this group it looks like. Now we get all our bags too. I'll put a link in the description to clearbags.com. Um, all our quarter box bags, half box bags, full box bags, just depending on what we're, uh, we're shipping out. They all come from clearbags.com. We just triple bag them just to make sure there's no punctures, there's no issues with the fish getting there. For the cost of a bag, an extra one, just to make sure you know it doesn't is it doesn't cost much on the business just to for extra security. If 
find it easier when we're packing at least to do the initial bag and then go back like I am now and just uh, double and triple and pop. Just so at least the initial bag is tied up and ready. Also gonna watch the, watch the clock because we got about a half hour to finish you know, getting these guys packed up and going. I always like to make sure we're at the airport 45 minutes or so at least before the cutoff time of the flight, just to make sure if there's other people checking cargo in or getting car picking cargo up that uh, you know, we're not jeopardizing the fish travel. Of course, with Southwest, nothing's guaranteed, but. Usually I've been pretty lucky shipping with them to, to get the flights that I would that I desire. So we're hoping to get these guys to go to St. Louis. So again, I'm not going to say who to who. We're shipping them to St. Louis, Missouri to a fellow YouTuber, a friend of ours. Another breeder. Um, has a great fish, great guy. So I'll let you guys watch for his unboxing video. See if you can uh, paste, put two and two together. But... Uh, If you guys have different ideas on shipping fish too, um, I always I always like to hear people's processes in the comments. Um, that's, that's one thing about the hobby is it's so there's a, so many different ways of doing thing, and there's not one right or a wrong way of doing it. It's everybody's personal opinion and their process that they're used to, and this is the process we've been used to for probably 15 years. So we're not going to change what we've been doing is working. So why why change what's not broken? But today's a busy day because we're uh, we're packing up this order to go out, and then we gotta go back to the airport later and pick up a new order coming in, which I will be videoing the new order. We're pretty excited about uh, some new new breeding stock coming in that we've never worked with before. Um, there's also gonna be some big big tank changes coming um, with this breeding stock, this uh, order that's coming in. So we're gonna you guys can come along as well on that journey and. And as I transform some tanks over for some new fish and move fish out, and which I'll be doing most of the day today to get ready for the order coming in. The first box ready to go. We got one male and five females in this box. We use, do use a lot of air when we pack, so the normal person can probably pack eight bags in this box where you can only fit six. But uh, when you're shipping cargo, you really don't pay for another box you're paying more for the weight so two boxes usually is about 65 bucks on southwest so we'll just make sure the fish are safe when they get there and that's all our concern is just the fish safety so we're gonna finish my newspaper over these guys and closing this box up all right so now we gotta catch the big male it's all that's left the bigger male so we're gonna go ahead and get him and we got the half box bag prepped already for him so we can just go drop him over in the bag Really nice so we got him caught. So that's all that needs to be done for catching fish. We got to bag up the quarter, the um, tie up the half box bag with the mail, and then we're uh, we're gonna be ready to go to the airport. All right. All right. So what we expected is about an hour. So it's now six o'clock. We're all packed up, ready to go. So let's go to the airport. Fish are loaded and we're, uh, we're on our way to leave to go to the airport. So it's about a 20 minute ride to get to the Southwest cargo for us. Not too bad. So we'll go there and drop these guys off. Usually it's about an hour round trip when we're going to the airport to drop fish off. So we're gonna get this journey going. All right, so we're on the airport. We're making our way over to uh, Southwest cargo. We'll be there in about less than five minutes to uh, to start the process to get the fish dropped off. All right, we made it to Southwest Cargo, so let's get these unloaded and get these guys dropped off. All right, we got the fish dropped off. Everything's all set. Two boxes going to St. Louis, scheduled to get in around 11.10, 11.15.
their time, so 12, 10 Eastern. So the fish will be in the bags at least, say, seven hours travel time. And then as long as it takes the customer to pick them up and acclimate them. So say a total of eight, nine hours, the fish will be in the bags when you send cargo sometimes. So this is big benefit versus shipping overnight. Um, that way, if overnight, obviously, they're bagged a lot longer. So, you know, like breeders, I like to ship cargo. So, we're going to go ahead and go home and then get ready for the order coming in. So, i going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Share the video. And until uh, the next time.